And we, as Martin was saying, started from uh, 41 or so. Mm. And we have, 40, you see, on the figures, 40, yes. 18, 19, 41, 41. Uh, you see, what, what uh, I detest is uh, an attempt to verify uh, one person uh, who may not have a mandate uh, to do what Martin expects him to do. And that is um, his penchant for positioning the president before him and seeking to uh, tag him with um, corruption uh, accusations. I detest that. But if there is corruption in an office, let's investigate the corruption in that office and find the culprits rather than you know, overly referring to one person who probably will be distant away from the, the center of the perceived corruption. I, I want to be, uh, carry on my uh, professional heart at all times, not uh, slip into the political arena and begin to throw tantrums and things like that. I detest that one. Oh, why is it a tantrum, uh, Honorable? Don't say no, that. No, no, Is this a tantrum? No, but, but so, I have listened to you this morning. But is this a so, tantrum? So, and so Are these it, no hard facts? So, it and, appears and, and, that... Where, where do you uh, differ? Oh, where, where no, exactly? no, I differ mm -hmm. because uh, I see Martin as trying to do more politics than analyzing the why, issues why I presented you so? to you. Why do you I, I know when to speak politics and when to speak uh, as a professional lawyer. Okay. And for me, uh, oh. Martin, when we talk of corruption in this, you position uh, President Kufuado and begin to uh, tag him with uh, accusations of corruption. That is what... Uh, uh, the corruption in various institutions, when it is so mentioned, I prefer that. Let's find if it's in parliament. Appear could be as that A, B, C, D. Then put me on the spot and do it. But if uh, there is perceived corruption in even parliament, and then you bring a Kufuado in, what has he got to do uh, with corruption in parliament and the like? Let's, um, I mean, this candid advice. Let's start, uh, try as much as possible to be very professional when we are tackling oh, some okay. of these things. So, and let, me and let, let us not be overly political uh, when people see you as a, as a professional and you slip into the arena. When we are on the political platform, that's a different matter. But when we are brought here to analyze uh, uh, legal issues, legal concepts, let's stay within the boundaries of our profession and proceed. Um, you know, first and foremost, uh, the corruption perception in this, it is perception, not reality. That, that is what even the institutions agree, perception. Perception is different from reality. Well, it's uh, not in, in, in most wholly, cases. It's not wholly just perception. And, and as we go on, you understand why it's not just limited to perception. But no, uh, that is perception. Per, uh, okay. Corruption perception index. And let's stay with that. Uh, what I expect uh, our institutions fighting corruption to do would be to do a professional job, go into it, find the corporates, find the issues, and analyze them, and even bring the factors that make it uh, the, um, an activity, a corrupt activity, rather than just saying, I have seen corruption here, there, and there. But let's try and prove it within the confines of the elements of the particular offense that we are prosecuting. Uh, I think that if we do it that way, then we will have uh, the reason to believe that this man has conducted himself unprofessionally or uh, illegally, and then we can prosecute them. But from all that we see and hear from the investigative institutions, uh, they end up being mere allegations and not uh, proving um, cases of wrongdoing. That is my beef, and that is my uh, my worry. Uh, but, let's go beyond uh, just the allegations and prove the the, the, the facts and the acts of corruption. Uh, but, if there is a case of uh, and uh, and uh, resource and uh, resourcing the institutions, let's look at it. If it is a case of um, uh, Absence of capacity in some of these institutions. I think we but, have to go. Know, and and do you would agree, and it goes without saying, that fighting corruption 
especially in our system, is difficult. Right? It is. It has been and difficult that's, that's, everywhere. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Good. The, the second one is that it's not just about resourcing the institutions. Mm -hmm. Has enough leadership been shown in the fight against corruption? Mm -hmm. Has enough political will been exhibited in the fight against corruption? If it has, you see, citizens' perception is informed by the experiences of either they themselves or people that they know or have come into contact with. So I, bet I very much that, agree with yeah, you. So, so, I so, very so, much so, agree with you. Right. But what I'm saying is that I'm a leader and I have institutions under me and appointees who are uh, managing some of these institutions. There are allegations preferred against uh, my appointees. Uh, what I'm saying is that go further down to investigate it and uh, find the uh, evidence of the wrongdoing, then it is an institution that also does the prosecution. Let us not uh, say that once uh, we perceive there's corruption here, it's the president that must answer. I mean, how are we going to manage a system like that? Mm. President appoints appointees, mm. and uh, there are institutions they preside over. If there is perceived corruption there, what president, I understand him to be saying, is that bring me the evidence of corruption through the institutions mandated to um, investigate and prosecute corruption, and whether I will interfere. All that the president should do is not to interfere in the investigation and the prosecution. And he's saying that, uh, cite me if I have done so. And he's saying that I have not done so. So it means that it's either the institutions are not doing what we expect them to do, either they're not going beyond the call of duty to investigate properly, either they themselves are compromising on the mandate. It's the issues, but if we safely push it to the president alone and say the president has not performed, uh, it is a very simplistic way of looking at the well, solutions. Well, but you see, the, the buck stops with the, the leader, in this yes. case, the president. Is yes, but practically, on the ground, will the president go to every office to investigate the corruption? That is why there are corruption uh, uh, investigating and prosecuting agencies. Are we saying that the president should rather cross them and undertake those assignments? We are, we are worried that these institutions are not giving us uh, the results. But why, my problem is, why are we targeting one person who is not connected to the mandate as expended to such institutions and persons? So if it is the, um, uh, the Ayoko that is not doing to, this work to our satisfaction, let's bring them up and see what is it that you are not able to do A, B, C, D. And... Uh, make sure we solve the problems there. Uh, what I'm saying is that it is not enough to always target the president and say that the president hasn't done that. When the president doesn't have such mandate, and indeed uh, the constitution uh, does not allow him to interfere with the operations and the works of uh, uh, constitutional bodies um, who enjoy independence. So when a body that enjoys independence constitutionally, and there is a president that you accuse of not uh, uh, doing the work of that institution. It, it is so unfair. You see, but much as I agree that uh, the perception is there that there is corruption. Uh, one million allegations and perceptions will not uh, crystallize. But, but you, you, you just said that you agree that yes. these... There is something that, that we have to do to make sure that they are, the institutions are efficiently undertaking their mandate. That's what I think. The, these perceptions as expressed, as I indicated earlier, are not informed by people's, you know, oblivious, you know, opinions. They are informed by the experiences that people have had. Yes. What they see, I'm coming, what they see mm -hmm. and what they hear. Mm -hmm. and what they themselves have experienced or others close to them have experienced. Mm -hmm. If the fight against corruption is pronounced, it's effective, there is a leadership shown, 
it will be apparent enough for people to see. And that would also inform the people's point of view about the state of corruption in this country. Why do other countries that have ranked well actually continue to improve in this index? It's because the fight against corruption in those jurisdictions are pronounced and effective. The result of it is seen, and the citizens know it. Don't you get worried, for instance, if an example, if, if there's an investigation, the mm -hmm. case of Cecilia Dapa, and mm -hmm. the president makes a statement to the effect that he knows that her credibility will Martin, be you know that I and came so, here and I condemned that statement. You condemned that statement. And I did not expect uh, the investigating authority to be influenced by that presidential statement. Why do you say so? Because you are an, you are an appointee, you are a professional doing your work. So if a peer could be somewhere saying something to the contrary, you will listen to me rather than but follow. But this is no other, none other but the president. <coughs> the president it doesn't says matter. that there is somebody who is being it investigated. It doesn't really matter. Credibility will be restored. It doesn't really matter, Abbott. When you are appointed and given... It does matter, because, listen, respectfully. When you are appointed and given constitutional independence, what more do you need to undertake your assignment? I would have done what I was expected to do under such circumstances. And indeed, Martin just made reference to uh, an allegation of corruption by the president. You just said that mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. I expect Martin to take it up if you have the evidence against mm -hmm. him. Manasseh is to warn listen, an international listen, award even with listen, that listen, case. Listen, listen. Mm -hmm. it, doesn't, it, it doesn't solve the problem. He mm -hmm. would win the international award, mm -hmm. but we want that offender to be prosecuted. Oh, that's the For president. Me, so when he leaves office, yes. Article 57 and is again, there. You again, again if, you go, if you go to uh, Article 41, Mm -hmm. uh, in respect to public uh, resources, mm -hmm. if for any reason somebody's conduct or action is causing the state losses, mm -hmm. you have every right to come to court immediately because the course of action will have matured. So uh, if Martin is confident that he has uh, evidence in that part particular the contract, fumigation case, yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's go to court. And Not whilst he's still president. No, ah, you have to be no, no, very no. Wait a minute. Careful. Wait a minute. To prevent the loss, mm -hmm. it is uh, the uh, cause of action has matured. At least the court will uh, injunct uh, whatever payments that whoever is making. They have already paid. They paid long ago. Yes. So wait. Oh, this year he will be. He will soon be out of office. This is February, right? Well, Next year. Ah, so man, what? What, what I'm saying is that mm -hmm. it is not enough uh, to be accusing without going for it. To, uh, you know, to the full trial and a conviction, if any. In fact, I will not uh, attempt to shield anybody if I have the evidence that this man has done that. Ah, done the that. businessman, why didn't you reveal his identity? What has he done? Why, why didn't, didn't you say he came to bribe you in parliament? He Did attempted you reveal? to do that. <laughs> attempt. It's an attempt, and not an offense. We, we, uh, section 18 of the we, he, criminal offense. It was an that. attempt. Uh -huh. But I did not say that. Oh, I, will not, uh, uh -huh. I will not support prosecution. Uh -huh. But I, I wanted to tell... Oh, but we begged and begged you here. No, no, no. We begged uh, and begged let, you here. Let him correct himself and amend his ways and probably going mm, forward, that's, well, you'll be able to proceed. On the but but that's, that's a very, the, the it's a very problematic position to take. Exactly. Let's not uh, simplify uh, but, but the, the solution. But Amidou left office because he could not interfere with his work. So, so Amidou, no, that's, Martin Amidou, didn't he leave office because he said that, that, that's what he could not interfere? That was his account, yes, uh, he said that. So, uh, uh, there are many no, examples. I'm surprised you are doing this. If Martin Amidou left office because he could not interfere with his office, uh, uh, was this the only relief available to him, to just to leave office and throw your hands? <laughs> you could have said to him that I have the independence of this office, and therefore I cannot listen to you as you say A, B, C, D, and continue with your work, probably to his embarrassment. But if you throw your hands up and say, I have left office because the man has interfered with my work, are you also not disappointing uh, the state? So should Kisei Jabin also leave because the president is emasculating him? It's there. No, the no. president is refusing uh, 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 to yes. fund the OSP. So uh, uh, he's uh, been uh, emasculated. Should he not, leave? It is not the president that funds the... It is ah. parliament. So if who you... Who vote? Who send uh, the budget? So, so please, please. if you say that... If you bring been, your budget no. to parliament, <laughs> and it, it is parliament that considers the budget. Hmm. It is not really the president. Who. Ah. 
The president okay. didn't send money enough for so, OSP. So he didn't put enough so, in the budget. Listen, listen, what did he bring to uh, parliament? Yeah, it, it's not the what OSP requires. The OSP reports are here. He says, look, yeah. he needs the establishment budget. Yeah, so but in considering the budget of 2024, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we looked at the figures brought by the various institutions. Mm. And if at the point of proving your figures with the finance ministry, you knew that whatever the finance ministry was suggesting was not enough. You would have made a statement there and complained, but you will follow the finance minister to the parliament and say, this is my budget. So for us in parliament, it is that which the finance ministry has brought uh, with you in support that we consider as your budget. Mm -hmm. So you, should, you shouldn't have agreed to those figures as turned out by the finance minister. And you come to support him in parliament and we prove that one for you, and you turn around and say that uh, it is not enough. Let us be man enough to tell him in his face that uh, this money will not suffice, and therefore I am not agreeing to this figure. Well, you're, you're caught in the world of idealism when mm. you know the reality is at yeah. variance with I mean, the chief exactly justice what complain. you're saying. But, <laughs> the chief justice complain uh, uh, about uh, uh, what? They're not getting uh, enough funding. So is there at the bar conference, is, 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 30th is, September is, last year? Is the complaint you see, enough? Hmm. Is the complaint enough? Uh, so why should you complain at that point? Do? No, no, no. If you complain that it is not enough and he won't listen to you, would you throw your hands in, in despair? No, what I'm saying is that uh, let him also realize that he has a duty just as you also have a duty. Does he listen? 